In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up a VPN on the Nvidia Shield. In this video, we're gonna be using IP Vanish, and we're gonna be using it to hide our identity, IP address, and our activity when streaming. Welcome back to Streaming Privacy, the channel that is here to help you protect your streaming activity online. And in today's video, we are going to be setting up a VPN on the Nvidia Shield. And in this video, we're gonna be using IP Vanish. And the reason we're using that is because it is considered one of the fastest VPNs. Although some of you may not agree as they are in the five eyes, but either way, we've got you covered. I'll leave a link in the video description at the very top, which will link you to an article I've written that gives the top four VPNs that fall outside of the Five Eyes, where you can also use this same setup tutorial for the likes of Nord or ExpressVPN. The only difference will be is the app you download from the Play Store. But all references, including the offer links for IP Vanish, will be at the top of the video description. Okay, so first we need to set up an account for the VPN. So I'll leave the offer link down below in the video description and the pinned comment for any offers that are currently available for IP Vanish. And using that link, we can set up an email address or password and continue to buy the subscription you wish. You will also get 250 gig of free SugarSync cloud storage and your login details will then be emailed to you. But make note of the email address and the password you use to create your IP Vanish account. So once you have made your IP Vanish account on your Nvidia Shield or whatever device you're using, head on over to the Google Play Store and navigate over to the search bar. In the search bar, we're gonna type in IP Vanish and you can see it is one of the first that pops up. So if I click on search and press back, it's led me straight to the IP Vanish app. So we're gonna click on that. Now, as you can see, I've already got it installed. So for you guys, you wanna click the install button and then the app will download to your device. It will continue to install. And once it's ready, it will say open just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and click open. And this is what IP Vanish looks like. You've got your connect button here on the left, and then you can select the country and the city or server you wish to use. Now for a tip, if you want the fastest server speeds, you want to select the country you're in or closest to you, and the same applies for the city and the server. But if you want the best option, it's best to leave these two as the best available choice. And it's worth noting, the further you are away from the country you choose, the slower your VPN speed will be. So we're gonna go ahead and click connect, and then the VPN will connect. And as you can see, it's now connected me to Manchester and give me a visible location IP address. You might get a pop-up asking you to allow the VPN connection. If you do, just simply click allow and then it will automatically connect. Now, if you want to guarantee your safety and security and your device is only used for streaming, you may want your VPN to automatically connect as soon as you boot your device. And we can do that in settings. It's really simple. So head on over to the settings cog at the top right and we're gonna click start IP vanish. That will automatically start this app every time you turn your device on. If we click Startup Connection Action, this will be the option for what happens when your device boots. So you can choose Do Not Automatically Connect. You can connect to the last connected server you are on, or you can connect to the fastest. Of course, if you want the fastest speed for streaming, we're gonna use the bottom option. But if you've got your own server setup that you prefer, then you can use connect to last. But for this video, we're gonna to connect to the fastest server available. And underneath startup connection action, here is where you can choose what to do. So we're gonna automatically reconnect. If you're using ethernet cable to your device, you can also allow LAN access. So if you have got your device plugged into ethernet, Ethernet, make sure that's turned on. Now, if you want to split your internet access, so if you've got apps on your device that you don't want to run through the VPN, we can do that via the split tunneling option. This is good if there are apps on your device that 
that you can't use whilst using a VPN. For instance, historically, Netflix couldn't be played via a VPN through some VPNs, and IP Vanish is one of them. So if you didn't want Netflix to run through a VPN and you wanted your local content, you can turn that on and that will use your standard internet connection. It's also the same for banking apps, which don't like VPNs, so you can select any app you don't want to run through your VPN and simply go back when you're done. Now, if you want to get even more funky, you can automatically load an app once your VPN connection is established. For instance, if you only use your device for Kodi, once the VPN's connected, you can use this option to automatically load any app you want, just to make it nice and fluid and easy for you. So for apps that do detect VPNs as well, you can also enable the scramble option, which adds obfuscation to OpenVPN, which tries to allow it to bypass that error, which may be useful if you wish. So it's up to you if you want that on or off. Now there are different protocols and ports available. We're gonna use the standard ports and protocol for this video, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial, let me know in the video comments down below. And that's it, that's how easy it is. So every time we boot up, we will now be connected to a VPN so we can browse and stream anonymously without the worry of our IP address being traced on any server website. And to double check the speed and make sure we're secure, you can download a NetSpeed app from your streaming device or any speed test app and see how it performs. And as you can see from the speed, I am able to stream up to 8K full Ultra HD. Beautiful. So that's it. That's how easy it is to get set up on a VPN on your NVIDIA Shield or any Android device. In fact, if you guys want to see more videos like this or, or tutorials for other VPN providers, let me know down below. But for now, that is all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.